Hey everyone, I uh, just thought I'd make this quick video uh, to show you what I've learned about differentiating uh, big dog prints with uh, big cat prints. Most of the stuff that I see online, almost all of the prints um, that are sent to us of sort of potential big cats um, can actually be quite easily identified as just being a big dog. I must say that I'm not an expert um, in tracking big cats at all. Um, I'm just sharing with you what I've learned from the research I've been doing. One document I found to be very helpful uh, was on the rewildingfoundation.org and was written by someone called Erwin van Manen. It's a really great document um, which has lots more information on it so I've put the link in the description so um, please go and check that out if you want any more information. But here are the main three things that I look for um, when differentiating big cat tracks and dog tracks. The first difference to touch on is the claws. It's the first thing I notice when I'm sent pictures of paw prints. Dogs obviously can't retract their claws, so always have claw marks visible in the print. Felines can and do retract their claws, except when they're running at speed. Considering that leopards tend to ambush their prey and not chase it down, it would seem to me that we should almost always be looking for prints that don't have claw marks. The second is the arrangement of the toes. Both the front and hind pads of a leopard will show four toes, with one leading toe slightly more forward than its other middle toe. It's similar to a human hand in the sense that the um, outermost digit is set furthest back, then um, as each digit inwards is set further forward, and then the inner toe on a print is actually further back as well. A dog, on the other hand, poor, has two front middle toes, um, which are almost in line, and then the outer toes um, are almost in line as well. The third thing I look for is at the rear end of the metacarpal pad or heel pad. For big cats like a lynx, leopard or puma, the heel pad has three lobes to it, or two indents depending on how you're looking at it, whereas a dog will only have two lobes or one larger indent. The article I mentioned has a lot of other great information, so go check that out if you want any more information on this. So hopefully now when you're out and about and you see a large, peculiar print, um, you should be able to quickly get an idea of whether this might just be um, a big dog. Um, but thanks for watching. Um, please support the channel by subscribing um, or liking or commenting um, and keep an eye out for more content. And thanks very much for your time.